The Bonneville Shoreline Trail has been under construction for 30 years. Join me, Brandon Plew, and my son Spencer as we hike the 200 mile length of the BST to learn about its past, present, and future, and explore the landscape of this boundary between the city and the wilderness. Good morning. Welcome to season two of State of the BST. Ironically, we're starting this season right back where we started last time, here on old Highway 91 in Santaquin. We thought it'd be fun to start this season by actually starting here and taking a look the other direction. So today we're gonna see what the prospects are for one day putting the Bonneville Shoreline Trail, perhaps all the way down south to Nephi. Today's uh, hike is gonna be going through the Santaquin Wildlife Management Area. If you remember from our, our talk with Mark Farmer last season, uh, these WMAs, as they're often called, are state land purchased by hunting license fees that uh, are used to protect mainly these foothills areas uh, at the base of the mountains uh, to protect the uh, winter habitat for deer and elk and, and other uh, big game. So we're gonna kind of be heading down through here today. Got some mud here. Our plan this season is uh, once we finish this little detour here is to uh, start up at the point of the mountain and work our way north. Uh, we're hoping this year to get all the way through Salt Lake County and Davis County and end up at Weber Canyon. Uh, we're also planning on keeping the, the episodes a little shorter and more regularly spaced. So hopefully every couple weeks there'll be a new episode. So if you are uh, familiar with, with any part of the trail up in that area, in Salt Lake or Davis counties, you have some expertise or know some people that we should talk to, it'd be great. We'd love to do some really interesting things along the way. For example, when we get to Salt Lake City, where the original section of the trail was completed 30 years ago, it'd be a great time to talk about how this whole thing got started and the history of the trail. So we look forward to seeing you throughout this season. Well, Mount Nebo's hiding in the uh, snow today, but we have a great view of Juab Valley nice rural countryside that we don't often see in the Wasatch Front. We also get a good little view of, of uh, Ro the town of Rocky Ridge. Some of you remember back in the mid 90s, this uh, village just seemed to kind of pop up out of nowhere. Uh, this uh, is mostly inhabited by members of the Apostolic United Brethren, which is one of the offshoots of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints that uh, still practices polygamy. This is not the famous group that's down near St. George. This is the group that's based in Bluffdale. But uh, they've got a nice little town they've built here, including a pretty substantial cabinetry shop uh, that uh, keeps most of them employed. And judging by some of the houses, doing pretty well. So this trail today that we've been on uh, is in Trail Forks. I called it, I put it in there and called it Santaquin Pass. It doesn't really have a name, although it is. Uh, an officially open road on the on the WMA. Generally, it's been a, a pretty nice uh, trail. We did do a little bit of bushwhacking just now to try to avoid this steep, muddy hill. But uh, other than that, uh, it's been a good trail, and uh, I'd, I'd recommend it if you don't mind walking on a dirt road. No, that's not a cemetery out there. Utah Division of Wildlife Resources is really concerned with improving the vegetation in these WMA areas, especially for the winter when we don't have all this nice grass out here for the, for the wildlife. So they have uh, really have an active program you'll see in many places of, of planting seedlings of native uh, shrubs and trees uh, such as oak or, or sumac or even sagebrush. Uh, and so great job, and especially when it rains, we get some rain like this in the spring. Uh, those should grow back pretty healthy. So if we ever get around to continuing the Bonneville Shoreline Trail to the south, uh, we probably want to keep it up a little higher, up in those the foothills there of Mount Nebo. Uh, I don't know if that'll ever be done, but uh, there's nothing there now, so we're just going to head down to the truck here and, and drive down further south and check out another short section of trail. We've come down here to Pole Canyon uh, near Mona. 
Uh, we're not going to try and pick our way all the way down to Nephi. There's no real trail all the way, but there is a, a, a short section of, of faint double track here. So we're going to we're going to kind of explore it and see what we can see along here. One of the challenges that small Utah rural communities like Mona here have is having enough taxes and jobs to stay afloat. A lot of them have turned to what we commonly call NIMBY industries or not in my backyard. Things that the people up in the city don't want to have and they're willing to do down here. So there's a power plant there and a solar farm and, and this gravel pit here. Uh, and they provide a lot of the jobs and the, and the tax base for, uh, for these communities. Not as many as we'd like. For example, the solar farm out there, once it's built, doesn't have a lot of jobs, but it does, it's better than nothing. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be a long time before the Bonneville Shoreline Trail is built from Nephi to Sanaquin. It's just too much trail to build. There's not a lot of pressure to build it because there's not the population here that would be using it. One advantage is that it's mostly on public property between the state and the national forest. Nephi is actually considering building a section around town, but I think it'll probably be another generation before this trail was built. This is absolutely amazing. Who knew that these canyons on the flanks of Mount Nebo were every bit as spectacular as what we have further north that, that are overcrowded. And we hardly even notice them as we drive past on I-15. All we do is complain about the traffic. I can't think of a better spot to end today's episode. <laughs>